Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, so this afternoon, let's make some... Okay, I've been working on this recipe for last couple weeks. And I think finally, I think I have the right combination. So I've been playing with this coffee from Costa Rica. Uh, so this uh, coffee has a strong raspberry uh, tasting notes. So raspberry, that's what else? Here, you got uh, raspberry and... Hold on a second, I'm kidding. Uh, sugar and mandarin, okay, the mandarin orange. Uh, the raspberry is so potent. Man, so I thought it's gonna be a great match with white chocolate. Okay, so I have this white chocolate from Lint. So I, I, I play with the other chocolates as well. So far this white chocolate from Lint is uh, like pretty, pretty good uh, match with uh, the Costa Rica coffee. So I'm gonna shout out to Ryan. I mean, Ryan, I mean, he's one of my friends. Uh, he told me that, Hun, you have to try with the raspberry, white raspberry, uh, raspberry, the bar from Costco. Man, oh, obviously they are taste amazing. So I thought it's gonna be a great match with the raspberry tasting notes and the actual white chocolate. Let's make some espresso, okay? Anyway, so if you are a hardcore coffee lover, espresso lover, you might want to turn away, okay? You might want to click out, but if you like to try uh, like new recipes and something different, okay, something different, uh, have some fun with it. So this is a pretty good recipe. I think, I, I think you guys might like this. So let's get going. Uh, I'm gonna be doing like kind of like traditional recipe here. I'm gonna be using 18 gram in, and then I think I'm gonna go, comes to yield wise, I'm gonna go a little longer, more like like 40 to like 50 gram shot there. And then let's see, okay, let's see how it's gonna work out. All right, let's get going. By the way, if you're first time joining us, uh, welcome to live streaming. Welcome to live streaming. Okay, I got already have 18 gram already ready to go. Uh, grinder setting is more like finer side. <clears throat> uh, I'm using the DF64 as a grinder. And then after that, I like to just tap, okay? I do not use bellow on this, just the top with my hand. That's it. And then uh, here we go. Now I've been really enjoying using the puck paper. So uh, let's use the puck paper again. I got my puck paper from... So this one I got from uh, Good Brothers Coffee, but you can actually make this one at home. And very easy. I have a video on that as well. I'm just gonna put that one in. The best result is, you know, you might want to wet this, okay, for paper. Uh, what I usually do is, you can actually wet uh, using whatever you want, like spray bottle. But I like to use my just steam one, just quick, okay. Just quick uh, steam one action there. There we go. Just make sure. You know what? I mean, I don't have to do the RDT, okay? The stack is not too bad on P64. I'm just gonna, but at least I do the WDT though. Okay, WDT here. I know some people think that this might be overrated, but you know what? I really enjoy doing it. And also like part of routine, okay? Just part of routine, just have some fun with it. I think a coffee making should be fun. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick distribution here. And then, so this is a, just a, a factory temper from Lillette. Okay, not too fancy. Perfectly manicure. <clears throat> uh, let's use a puck screen. Uh, I really enjoy using puck screen, so put that one in. All right. 
let's move on to the machine. I'm going to heat up my, actually, I'm not going to heat up my uh, cup, okay? I'm not going to heat it up, but here's the main part here. Here's our chocolate. So I'm going to be using entire strips. So one, two, three, four, five pieces. Five pieces there. If you are uh, counting calories at home, uh, this is not a good recipe for that. Okay. okay. Hopefully that looks good. I'm, I'm going to be doing 18 gram in, you know, around like, uh, you know, let's talk about 50 gram out. Okay. Let's do 50 gram. Maybe I can give you guys a better view here. Here we go. Man, that looks great there. Around 50 gram. Hopefully it's good. There I go. That's it. I got 50 grams of espresso. I cannot wait to try this one. So I tried once before uh, the other day. Man, they were so good. I'm just going to mix it. Just make sure nicely melted. So let's give it a try. So this is a white chocolate espresso. Uh, chocolate is uh, the lint, the white chocolate. This is like fantastic for like after meal, perhaps. Definitely not uh, first thing in the morning. Okay. Make sure. Definitely more like that's a dessert. That's more like dessert espresso. All right. <clears throat> okay. So let's try this. I hope you guys are having a great day, by the way. Having a great uh, weekend. The weekend is right around the corner. So, uh, so this uh, coffee, if you're just joining us, this coffee has very strong the raspberry tasting notes. And then, <coughs> excuse me, we are going to match that with the lint white chocolate. All right. Cheers, guys. Wow. You know, I have to say, over the years, I make a lot of, uh, kind of like mixed with espresso. Some of you saw my Instagram, I mix with dark chocolate or chocolate with caramel inside. Uh, even like uh, the white chocolate with like Oreo inside as well. I think Hirsch makes those. It's nothing like it. Okay, it's terrible. Okay, I have to say, it looks one, uh, beautiful to look at, but but this one, boy, they're fantastic. I wonder. I wonder if I'm gonna put some milk in it. You know, let's uh, let's make a little cappuccino out of it. Okay, that sounds. Really you know what, let's make a little small cappuccino over that uh, white chocolate espresso. Hold on. So I, uh, I, I, we are going to steam some milk here. Hold on a second. So we are, uh, we are doing something fun. Again, I mean, if you are, uh, I mean, I like to say people like purist, okay? Purist means you don't put any sugar or milk on your coffee. Just a straight espresso. Kind of enjoy the, the, the true tasting notes. But sometimes I really enjoy kind of like mixing, kind of like combining with, I mean, lots of sugars and lots of milk. Give you that, you know, I mean, it's fun, okay? So this is fun. So, so let's try this.
Okay, I'm going to I'm going to stem, uh, stem some milk here. So milk is ready. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna wipe it down first. It's gonna be a little flat white, okay? It's gonna be a little flat white. Yeah, as you can see, the milk is flat. So that's what happens when you uh, you uh, you don't put not enough air into your milk there. That doesn't mean it's not gonna be. It's gonna be bad. You just gotta. Let's do some quick latte art here. So it's gonna be white chocolate. Has a strong raspberry tasting note with uh, milk. Oh yeah, way too flat, but it's gonna be really tasty. All right, let's try this. Let's try this coffee recipe. Okay, here we go, guys. So, so now this is the white chocolate with a strong uh, raspberry tasting nut with milk. Cheers. Man, this thing is fantastic, I have to say. Wow. Uh, this is perfect. You know what? You know what uh, makes it even more perfect? Hold on a second, guys. Uh, let's do one pump of caramel. So it's going to be white chocolate caramel with hint of raspberry. Let's do a quick one pump. By the way, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome. Cheers, guys. I have to say, this is the best drink I made so far this year. So, I don't, you know, I mean, you guys hear me over the years, if I say, if I like the coffee, I say, it's not bad. Man, this is fantastic. Wow. The, uh, this thing is really amazing. Okay. Uh, definitely worth trying. Uh, the recipes are very, very simple. Except you have to have the right coffee beans. So make sure you get the coffee beans with like strong raspberry uh, tasting notes. Uh, so this one happened to be the uh, friends at Good Brothers Coffee there. Uh, if you guys are interested, I have a coupon code for that as well. Okay. And then, so this is the Lint white chocolate. Lint. So this... Though I like this one because it's, this is not sweet, but give you the full body. It's, they're, I mean, they're good, okay, I have to say. So, they're, they're fantastic. And I basically just use the whole milk. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna finish this, but you know, because there's too much dairy, but I'm just having you know, one more uh, sip here. Wow. Uh, Cuckoo for coffee say dark roast. You know what? It may not. I don't know. I mean, the reason why I like. I mean, I like. I love this combination because the raspberry tasting note really good match with the white chocolate. That that is really a nice match. So uh, try with the darker uh, darker coffee. Uh, it might be like ruining. I mean, ruining the flavor. So again, uh, definitely worth trying though. Okay, definitely worth try. Because I did try with a different white chocolate so far, but so far the lint is the for for the best for uh, what I'm liking. So yeah, but I mean they're pretty good. So this one has you got one, two, three, four, five. I I, I can make five more coffee with this. Let's find out. 
more than a second year. So seven pieces have 29 grams as seven pieces. So 18 grams of sugar. So that's not bad. Okay, it's about 18 grams of sugar. Yeah, so 18 grams of sugar for uh, seven pieces, we are only using five. So what, maybe like 15 grams of sugar there. So that's, yeah, uh, that's not too bad there. So you got, the, you got this about 15 grams of sugar plus, like we got the one pump of caramel. That's another 10. So it's about 25 grams of sugar right there for, for one serving. I think average Coke has what? Uh, what, 30, 40 grams of sugar? So, you know, it's, again, it's definitely the, a lot less than your soda pop. So, yeah, I mean, just do once in a while. You're going to love it. Okay, it should be really good. Let's see. Uh, again, I'm going to big shout out to friends that are live streaming. Uh, make sure to join the live chat as well. Okay, I think we got some friends. We got Marshall's on. We got Marshall. We have Jonathan. Who else? We got the M. Liz. I don't know. M. Liz. We got Steve. We got Cooker for Coffee. We got Young Ma from New York. Hold on. Who is out there? We have uh, Gabe. Richard from France. You got Tran is on as well. We got Ami. I think it's Ami. I think I, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Jordan. We got the Jordan is my wife and I are longtime subscriber. Can you tell my wife swap out the, her Keurig? Kate, if you are listening, I think it's time to upgrade. Okay. Time to upgrade, Kate. Uh, I think I think uh, go with the like Bravo Booster Pro. Okay, I think you're gonna like the Bravo Barista Pro because Pro is like upgrade from uh, Express. So yeah. Uh, so Marshall is going. Uh, he's gonna watch the Jeopardy starts. Uh, shout out to Michael as well. Mike, uh, Michael is from Los Angeles. Great guys. Anyway, uh, 39. Oh, a cook of coffee is so 39 grams of sugar in Coke. Okay. So one Coca-Cola has 39 grams of sugar. So, so this coffee, well, we just do the math, 25 grams of sugar. Uh, caramel syrup is optional, but they bring, bring even more flavor though. Yeah, so this white chocolate is really good because it's not like sweet, sweet, very mellow white chocolate. I think it's a really good match, okay? Really good match there. Anyway, okay. Uh, I think M. Liz. Uh, I, I I cannot pronounce your name. Okay. Anyway, I've got the Lolando. Uh, just joining us. Did all the chocolate melt? Yes. Just ju just make sure with the, with a the spoon. Just uh, just make sure melt everything. Okay. Just melt it away. Yeah. This coffee is legit. Okay. They're great. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, hold on, so Richard said, tell group brothers to... The problem is, Richard, is the, is the shipping, okay? The shipping is the problem. Let's see here. Let's see, France. Uh, don't you guys have good roasters? I bet you got some good roasters around, all right? Just make sure to check out the local roaster. Uh, Check out the like medium roast. Uh, and then look for like a raspberry tasting notes. I know you guys have some great chocolate in France. So no, yeah, for sure. So you're gonna have some good white chocolate and then uh, match that with kind of like very light citrus tasting note coffee. And you should have some really good coffee. I mean, this is more like desserts, okay? This is like dessert coffee. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great afternoon or good evening. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.